unfunny, stupid, pretentious. Hello, my name is Adam Sandler. Why do so many critics hate Adam Sandler? The guy who many people think is one of Hollywood's greatest comedians in the last 40 years. Can I get a hell yeah? They say he made his entire career playing the same character. He even built his own production company hiring the same actors all over again. And many people have already had enough and they called for him to stop acting. Adam Sandler should stop making movies, his acting is getting way worse. Excuse me for a second. Open the window. But even with all of this criticism in the early days, Adam Sandler never gave up. So why? Despite all these signs to stop, did Adam Sandler still keep going? Are people right to say he should finally put an end to his comedic career? This is the story of one of the most heavily criticized actors, Adam Sandler. Because ever since he got into the industry, he's been criticized a thousand times. In the early 90s, when he was just starting, he was fired from Saturday Night Live for being overly playful on the set. I ain't the worst that you see. I can't you see what I mean. And when he continuously made and starred in movies, this was what people had to say. But well, let's be real, what Adam Sandler is really known for is making movies. Some of us thought you were actually completely out of your mind when you cast Adam Sandler. Okay, now look at this page. It's basically a list of films considered the worst. Three of these films were either produced by Adam or films where he was cast. And get this, you know the Razzies, which recognized the worst of the worst in Hollywood? Well, in 2012, Adam won almost every single Razzie award. He even set a record having the worst actor, worst actress, worst screenplay and more. So why, despite all of this criticism, did Adam Sandler keep on going? Hello, my name is Adam Sandler. Hello, my name is Adam Sandler. Hello, everyone. My my name is Adam Sandler. Adam started way back because he was only 17 when he entered the world of comedy. Well, nice to be here. <laughs> At that time, it was his family who pushed him into that world. His brother told him to join a comedy club and his parents were huge fans of comedy. <laughs> I used to love any comedian my father and mother liked. Like, oh God, I want to be like that guy. It's making my dad happy. So, when his father passed away, he changed. For the first 15 years of his career, all he did was be the funny guy. Until, in 2002, he was given the opportunity to take on a new role in a drama movie. Get your supervisor on the phone! While many people doubted why he was chosen for the part, there were also people who believed in him. What did you see in him? that uh, inspired you to choose him for uh, for this particular role he made me laugh really he just makes me laugh but this is not a comedy in that sense though because it's, it's a tragic character as well he's funny to me <laughs> i love him <laughs> i absolutely think he's the greatest and with more serious films offered to him he used all the pain he felt from losing his father and channeled it into acting. Against all the critics, he showed the world that he was an incredibly talented actor. This is me. This is how I win. And when he was given the worst of the worst awards, he really didn't care. I also see a couple of grads here today following my path and becoming a fellow five-time Razzie Award winner. And I'll teach you the proper way to laugh all the way to the bank. When he was fired from SNL, years later, he just made a joke out of it. I was fired. <laughs> I was fired. I was fired, so sad to tell. Well, I never saw it coming. I got fired from SNL. <laughs> And also, I think it's important to mention, because I see Adam Sandler kind of like Keanu Reeves. They are both really nice guys. Hi, guys. Hey. No way. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. 
While all of this criticism was happening to Adam Sandler, he was busy with something else. He was helping his friends. He used his production company so he could mind his own business, to produce films he wanted and mainly to support his friends so they wouldn't be jobless. When Jennifer Aniston was at the lowest point of her life, Adam never left her side. She's we the best. We must have been fam like real family in, a, in another life. Very, yes, or absolutely. Very so comfortable with each other. When no one else took a chance on Drew Barrymore after she recovered from addiction, Adam took a chance on her. When Chris Rock was becoming the worst version of himself, Adam was there to set the perfect example of a good husband and father. Adam goes, hey, we're going over to my dorm, you wanna hang? And he's been letting me hang ever since. When Terry Crews was being discriminated against for his race and built, Adam was there to support him all along. I got jobs for you. That That's my that man! He became the best friend anyone could ever have. And later on, many people vouched for it. What you don't know is that this man standing here is not just a wonderful son, an incredible husband, a loving father, a producer, a writer, and an actor, and a loyal, loyal friend. He is also dedicated to the people that helped him get here, his fans. When many people didn't believe in him... It seems like you're drawn to these characters who are unlucky, you could say losers. Right, right, right. What do you yeah. think that is? I relate to all different types of people, but I enjoy playing these guys who are um, struggling. I like that. You like that. What is it about that? I guess... Uh, admire somebody who doesn't give up. He didn't mind at all knowing how and where it all began. His father's love for comedy and his goal of making him happy. I'd be like, oh God, I want to be like that guy. It's making my dad happy. And that's why now we are looking at one of America's greatest comedians and actors in the last 40 years. Which, by the way, also made him one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. And you know what he does with his millions of dollars? He doesn't keep it to himself. He donates to charities and people in need. This comedian who critics say should stop doing what he does isn't just about acting or jokes. He is also about humility generosity and having a big heart and I am confident no matter where his father may be he is very proud of him can I get a hell yeah